recently I came across a commercial add-in for uh, Microsoft Excel which allows you to classify the type of spreadsheet whether it be public, internal or confidential for example. Now the downside of this add-in was that every time you save the spreadsheet and the code is executed it would then mess up the uh, page break settings and half the time you'd end up with a spreadsheet which was displaying page breaks on each worksheet and that's just not what you wanted and it became a bit of a pain to uh, go through each of the worksheets and fix this so I put together a little uh, bit of code to uh, allow you to click on a button and just remove each of these um, page break settings so in this video we're going to cover uh, how I did that and I'm also going to expand on it and build a couple of functions that allow us to uh, switch off page breaks and toggle them in a nice convenient fashion. This is the kind of thing you might see after clicking save uh, with this add-in enabled uh, something like this where you've got page breaks showing here nothing showing here and you might have page breaks showing here and we want to be able to clean this up. Let's jump straight into the Visual Basic Editor and let's create a module. Let's go insert module and let's edit the properties of that and call it M page breaks. Perfect. So the first thing we'll do is build a subroutine. Let's say public sub switch off page breaks. And we're going to cycle through each of the worksheets in our workbook. So let's create a counter variable to do this. And then we'll build our for each loop. Let's say dim worksheet counter as worksheet. And then at the end, we're going to use our usual code to disarm our pointer. We we'll say if not worksheet counter is nothing, then set worksheet counter equals nothing. It's a little bit of overkill but I think it's a good habit to have. So let's build our for each loop. We'll say for each worksheet counter in this workbook dot worksheets then we'll say next worksheet counter and Code we're going to execute is, is quite simple. It's going to be worksheet counter dot display page break. So that's the property that we want within the worksheet. I'm going to set the value of this to false. And that's it. That's our code. Okay. Let's compile that and make sure there are no errors. And next we'll go back to our workbook. And we're going to add a nice little shortcut uh, button to the quick access toolbar and check that that works. So here we are back in our workbook, uh, displaying our worksheets. And we're going to click on the quick access toolbar. We'll say more commands. Uh, we'll select macros. Choose our macro. We'll add it for this document only for now. Uh, so we're going to click on add. And then let's give it a nice little button. Uh, let's go with a, a, a nice big cross. Okay. And we'll click on OK. Perfect. So what we expect to see is when we click on this button, it'll cycle through each of these worksheets and it'll switch off these page breaks. So let's give that a quick test. There we go. Perfect. Done exactly what we want. So the next thing we're going to do is to build some code that will allow us, instead of just switching everything off, to in fact toggle the page break status for an individual worksheet. And then we'll build some code that uses that to cycle through each sheet in the workbook. Let's go back into the Visual Basic Editor. And we'll start by building a, let's say, a, a short subroutine. We're going to keep it private that just allows us to toggle an individual worksheet, uh, toggle the page break status of that worksheet, and that takes a worksheet as an input. So we'll say private sub toggle worksheet page breaks, and we'll pass in the worksheet by val worksheet as 
worksheet. And we'll say, uh, first of all, we'll have our usual kind of error check to make sure that the inputs are sensible. We'll say if worksheet is nothing, if nothing has been passed in or if it's an empty uh, object, then we're just going to exit the subroutine. OK, we're not going to do anything. Uh, we won't send a message to the user or anything like this. It's very basic error handling here. And then we'll say uh, worksheet dot display page breaks equals. And the way we're going to set it up to do our toggle is we're going to say true plus false minus worksheet dot display page breaks and that will allow us to toggle um, the the page break status for the worksheet that's been passed in so next we need a subroutine just to to call that for the active worksheet so we'll say public sub toggle active sheet page breaks and this is the one that the end user will be able to see and click on and we'll say call toggle active toggle worksheet page breaks this workbook dot active sheet excellent let's click on the compile button make sure that compiles okay and again we'll go back to our worksheet view and we're going to add another button. We'll go to more commands, macros, and for this document only. And we're going to toggle active sheet page breaks. We'll move that across and then we'll give that a nice button as well. What are we going to select this time? Let's go with, uh, let's go with this one. It uh, looks like it might be a, uh, a kind of worksheet which is uh, being toggled in some way. So this is the toggle active sheet page breaks. If we click on that now, we'll see that the page breaks have been added for sheet one. If we click on it again, it's taken away the, the uh, page breaks for sheet one. And when we click on that, we should see that sheet two has no page breaks displayed. It only affects the active sheet, which in this case was sheet one. So let's switch those off. Last thing I'm going to do is to build a uh, subroutine that uh, toggles the status of the page breaks for each of the worksheets within a given workbook. So let's say public sub toggle workbook page breaks. And the code's going to be very similar to our code in the switch off page breaks. So we'll just copy a lot of this here. I'm going to go copy and we'll paste it down here. But instead of setting this to false here, what we're going to do is we're going to say call toggle worksheet page breaks for worksheet counter. That should do the trick for us. Um, let's compile the code. Perfect. We'll go back to our workbook. Again, let's add a, a button to our quick access toolbar. Macros, toggle workbook page breaks. And we're going to add it for this document only. And let's give that an interesting uh, picture. Let's go with, uh, how about um, this one? Just pick a random one there. That one will do. OK, so we click on this button now, we should see at the end each of the worksheets have their page breaks switched on. So we click on it, we see sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, they've all got page breaks. Click on it again and the page breaks have gone for every worksheet within the workbook. OK.